What lawful basis was there for you to ask for her ID? I don't know. What lawful basis was there for you to demand her ID? I don't know. What lawful basis was there for you to put her in handcuffs in response to her not giving you her ID? I don't know. Um, in order to detain somebody, what do you have to have legally? Do you know? Mm, I do not know the law legally. Okay. Doesn't there have to be reasonable suspicion that the person committed a criminal offense or violated a law? Because I'm going to, I don't know the law exactly. You don't know when I'm, an officer is allowed to detain somebody? In Cook County, Illinois, on the left, that is Lieutenant Don Malazzo. On the right is Sergeant Jennifer Larson. Their depositions in a lawsuit have now been released, and the officer's ignorance is frightening. If you don't know what somebody's doing, do you have reasonable suspicion that they're doing anything in particular? No, but we have a reasonable response to ask what she was doing. Right. Agreed. You could ask her what she's doing, and right. when she refuses to answer, are you now allowed to detain her? Yes. Who told you this? That you get to detain people who are videoing and refuse to identify themselves when asked? The officer's incompetence and wrong answers were recorded in a lawsuit filed by this woman known as Pink Camera Magic. A few years ago, she went to the Cook County Courthouse to address three traffic tickets. Outside on the public sidewalk, she started filming the building's exterior. Ma'am, can I ask what you're doing? I'm recording the building. Why? Because I want to. For what purpose? Can I get a supervisor to the front door, please? You know this is a public building? Exactly, that's why I'm recording okay. it. It's also a court facility? Yep. Which there is a judicial law or judicial order that says that you cannot tape this building. Can I see that order? Yes, come on in. I'll, we're going to check your IDs too. Oh, no, I'm not going in. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. We're going to run you too. No, that's we're all right. get your name. We're going to do a report and everything. So come on in. Um, right. No. No, yeah, you're going to come in now. Am I being detained? Yes. For what? Because right now we, you are doing something suspicious. That's and not a reason to detain anybody. Well, it is for Diana. Come on. It's really not. Let's go so inside, I'm just going to stay here and continue recording. Okay. You're going to come in and we're going to find out who you are and what you're doing here. No, you're not. Okay. All right. Who's got cuffs? She does not want to go agreeably. Okay. I'm being detained for just taking pictures of the building. Yes, ma'am. You're doing something suspicious and we need to know who you are and why you're doing it. Okay. Are you familiar with the First Amendment? Yes. I am. Really? Put Let's your hands go behind in. your back. Come on. Wow. I tried to do this nicely. The citizen with a camera was arrested, and while prosecutors eventually wow. dropped the charges, she filed a lawsuit for civil rights violations. Place them away from the microphones as they can interfere with the deposition audio. During the depositions, first up was Sergeant Jennifer Larson. She assisted in the arrest. Was she doing something wrong? Uh, just something unusual, what us as officers would consider unusual. Unusual, okay. Um, depending on where you are in the country, Mormons are unusual, right? Depending on where you are, it might be unusual to see a Mormon. Do you get to detain Mormons in those places? I don't know people detain Mormons. Did you have any reasonable suspicion that she was committing a crime? We had reasonable suspicion to ask her what she was doing and why she was doing it, just to get who she was and why. You and I agree on that, that you had the right to ask her whatever you wanted to ask her. Did you have the right to put her in handcuffs? For the security of the officers, yes. Okay. What made her a threat? Her refusing to give any information that was requested of her. Was she legally obligated to give that information? 
when an officer has asked her for security purposes to give her identity up, yes. Have you ever heard of something called a Terry search or a Terry frisk? I have. Okay, what is that? Um, I'm not going to say exactly. I don't know the law. Okay. Doesn't there have to be reasonable suspicion that the person committed a criminal offense or violated a law? Because I'm going to, I, I don't know the law exactly. At least she was honest. Lieutenant Don Malazzo was ignorant and evasive. Okay. If you could go back in time to the day that you arrested her, would you still arrest her? So you're asking me if I can go back in time? Yeah. I don't know how I could do that. Okay. Did you understand my question? I did, and you're asking me to suppose whether or not I can go back in time. I can't. So you can't tell me if you would still arrest her? I can't tell you what would happen on that day if I went back in time, no. Okay. Um, are, are you, is this an attempt to be funny? Not a bit. Are you trying to answer my questions? I'm trying to answer your question. Is there a law that requires people to identify themselves when requested by law enforcement? I don't know. Did you delete her pictures? No. Who did? Don't know. You don't know who deleted her pictures? No. By the time you got in front of Judge Peter Felice, they were deleted, weren't they? As far as I know, they were still on there. You grabbed her camera yes. away from her outside, did you not? Yes. From that point until you were in front of Judge Peter Felice, did she ever hold her camera again? No. Okay, so you had it the entire time? Yes. Didn't Judge Peter Felice talk to you about whether the pictures had been deleted? He asked for the, the memory thing so he could delete them. The judge wanted to delete the photos, says this cop. Okay, you just said that he asked you for the memory card because he wanted to delete the pictures. Is that your testimony? Yes. Okay, and if he were to testify at some point in time that he absolutely, categorically, did not delete those pictures, then would you want to change your answer as to whether you or one of your people did? I'm going to object calls for speculation. <coughs> no one had custody of the camera but me. Okay. Would it have been lawful for you to delete her pictures? I don't know. Do you know which amendment it is that allows people to demand a lawyer? Do you have any idea? No. Have you ever read anybody the Miranda rights? No. You've never read anybody their Miranda rights? No. And what if somebody says, yes, I want to talk to an attorney? Do you get to keep asking them questions? Or do you have to call a lawyer for them before you want to ask any more questions? I don't know. You don't know? You don't know if you're allowed to keep asking questions of somebody in custody after they ask for a lawyer? No. How long have you been employed under, at, at Cook County Sheriff's? 27 years. 27 years. I imagine you only became a lieutenant recently? No. How long ago did you become a lieutenant? 22 years ago. 22 years as a lieutenant, a police supervisor, and he didn't know about Miranda warnings and basic constitutional rights. Malazzo, under oath, also accused a judge of unlawful behavior. Well, between Lieutenant Don Malazzo and Sergeant Jennifer, I can do whatever I want, Larson. Cook County, Illinois law enforcement could not look any more tyrannical and embarrassing. Despite all of this, a few years ago, a judge dismissed Pink Camera Magic's lawsuit citing a previous case that upheld a local law prohibiting filming inside the courthouse. However, Pink Camera Magic was standing outside on the public sidewalk filming the exterior. So she has appealed, and her case is still winding through the courts. One can only hope that she is successful and that Lieutenant Malazzo and Sergeant Larson soon become the exceptions in law enforcement, not the despicable standard. By the way, in Connecticut, police are now facing a lawsuit for not counting floors properly and smashing into the wrong apartments. Police with search warrant! Police with search warrant! Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.